Welcome to another Hamster Weak Signal Group technical tutorial. I'm N5XO and I'll be taking you through the process of installing hardline connectors. If you're a Hamster member or if you've been following our training courses at local clubs and events, then you are aware of the high level of importance myself and the Hamster Group places upon high quality feed line and maintaining total losses on your antenna feed line of 1 dB or less. On my personal station, I have followed or exceeded the 1 dB rule very strictly, and with that rule in mind, I run hardline for all of my antennas. One half inch hardline on my 80 and 40 meter dipole, 10 to 20 meter log periodic, as well as my 6 meter array. As I step up in frequency, I run 3 quarter inch hardline for 2 meters and 1.25 meters and 1 and 5 eighths for 70 centimeters and 33 centimeters with 2 and a quarter for 23 centimeters. Most hams that I've worked with are afraid of hardline connectors and avoid using hardline out of concern on installing of the connectors. Once you do your uh, first hardline connection you'll find quickly that they're much easier to uh, install than expected. The tools for installing hardline are pretty straightforward. A couple of wrenches, a razor knife, small hacksaw, and if you're going to be doing a lot of hardline on a regular basis or your local club is, I would recommend investing in some hardline prep tools. These make the job so incredibly easy and fast and perfectly prep the hardline uh, in seconds to install the connector. I've owned the one half and three quarter inch connector for several years. Unfortunately, I purchased the inch and five eighths after this initial project, so I didn't show how to use it. But we'll do a uh, quick how to use uh, tutorial in a future video. Take a look at the end of the hard line. Take note of the damage done to the copper shield. This happens from pushing too hard upon the hacksaw. This was done as we cut it off the large spool to the proper size and length that we needed for this project. The next cut shows a smooth, light touch with the hacksaw and a clean, workable surface, so be sure to use a light touch with the saw. Using the razor knife, or better yet, your hardline prep tool, expose the copper shield. I'll not go into the exact measurements as this changes with the hardline size and type and brand of connector. Expose the amount of shield and install the O-ring, followed by the compression ring. With the ring in place and with a gentle action on the hacksaw, cut the end of the hard line off clean against the clamp. Using a razor knife, clean out the outer edge of the foam to allow a clean seat for the uh, connector. Depending on the type of connector, you may need to flare this uh, outer copper jacket slightly as we did here. Install the center pin of the end connector by screwing it into the center hole of the hard line cable and then using an Allen wrench, turn the lock and lock it into place. Take the large O-ring, lube it with provided grease, and slide it onto the threaded portion of the connector. This seals any moisture from getting into the connector and also into the feed line. Slide the main housing of the uh, connector onto the feed line. It will lock in place with the compression ring. Then take the screw cap portion of the connector and thread it onto the main cap Using channel locks and a wrench, tighten it up firmly, but do not over tighten it. Once completed on both ends, measure the cable into a good quality dummy load and test for a 1 to 1 SWR and 50 ohm impedance. If the cable tests properly, then we're ready to finish it up with the heat shrink. Now you're ready to wrap up the project. Slide the heat shrink over the connector in the uh, hard line and then slowly begin heating the heat shrink until it's got a tight fit seal all the way around. Seal it first on the hard line and then work your way back to the uh, 
hard line and that way it'll leave no bubbles and stuff and it'll have a tight seal all the way through. Once that's completed, you're 100% done with your hard line and ready to run it up the uh, tower and into your shack. For more information on the hamster group, please go to our webpage at www.144200.net. That's www.144200.net. Thank you and have a good day and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial.